Hello and welcome to another video from Rambling Geek. Today we're going to have a little look at Gitir. Gitir is a source repo very much like GitHub, but you'll run it locally. First thing that we need to do is download and install MySQL, which is what we're doing right now. We need to install the Visual Studio uh, X64 libraries, which is what I'm doing here. I'll put all the links down below in the comments. So I'm just getting this installed now. Okay, that's installed. And then we're going to go back and carry on with the SQL install, which should now run through, which of course it does. So this is a pretty typical uh, default install. Nothing special about it really. If you have any comments uh, during this video of what I've done or the decisions I've made, then please feel free to uh, keep it polite and pleasant, but leave the comments down below. And if you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. And if you really like it, hit the bell. So why would you want to run Git here? So not all organizations want to use GitHub because they don't trust the cloud. So that's one reason. Another reason is at home, you might want to have this set up in such a way that you commit everything to Git here locally to keep your code available to you, but then have it clone automatically into GitHub. Following the docs from the Gitir website, we now need to create a user and database for Gitir. You may have noticed a jump cut then, that's because I made a mistake, which I left on the screen. If you can spot the mistake that I made before I pasted it in from the docs, then please leave a comment below. So now we've created the user We've created a database and given that user access to that database. So next I'm just going to log in and check that that Git uh, tier user has access to the database. which that seems to be working fine. Okay, so now we can actually uh, download the executable of Gitir from the downloads. The list of downloads is fairly confusing, um, but if you follow their guide, it does tell you to download the Windows executable. Uh, which is what I'm doing here. I do make a bit of an error here. Uh, I didn't put the extension on, so I uh, realize this at this point and add it in. So there's no installation for Git here. You just double click it and it runs where it is. So in this instance, when I double click it, it runs from downloads. So you may want to move it as I did uh, to another location, uh, which is more permanent. Okay, now it's up and running. You can see there's uh, a couple of URLs uh, here. Listen and app URL. It looks like I copy the uh, listen one, but I'm just highlighting it to point out that it's the one that you don't want. Uh, the one we want to edit, enter into the browser is the localhost 3000. There we go. So it's up and running, but we do need Git. So I haven't downloaded Git yet, so I'm going to do that now. So this is just a standard next, 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 next install of Git. 
um, out of habit, I go to change the code editor, Visual Studio Code, and then realize I'm on a test server and put it back. Okay, so Git installed. We change the database name to what we specified before, which is Git here, DB. And then now we can click the install button and it will be installed. You can see it doing things on the left hand side in a second. There we go. Okay, so this is a bit confusing. It's not very obvious. You need to click register to log in and your register account. So that account that you use will get all admin rights from there. There's no default username, password as such. Okay, so now we're logged in. Uh, there's various things you can do uh, within here. Uh, most configuration things are actually done through a configuration file. I can cover the configuration file and what you can do in another video. Uh, please comment below if you want to see that. So now we'll create a local repo. So the things I'm choosing here are meaningless. Uh, I'm just picking things randomly. All these options are configurable through a configuration file. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment, be much appreciated. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe and comment. And goodbye for now. Until next time, thank you for watching.